allow me to begin by thanking Bishop and the entire family of Perez Chapel International for such a warm welcome to my delegation and I this morning. We are very happy to be here. I think two things have struck me, the subject of thanksgiving and of giving thanks regardless. But I also feel that it is the time to raise a dialogue on the subject of moral clarity. Because we need moral clarity all the time, but even more so now. And as Christians, we always take our cue from the Bible. I don't intend to speak for a long time. I want to refer you to my fav one of my favorite passages, and I've used it in many, many places. And it is about this passage in Genesis 18, where God confides in Abraham that he's going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because they've done things he's unhappy with. But the lesson I'm picking from that passage is the closeness, the privilege that Abraham has to have God speak directly to him. It's not a vision, it's not a dream, it's physical. They are going on a walk and God is confiding in him. I doubt if privilege gets better than that because it is both spiritual and physical. It's such a rare con combination. And what does Abraham use the opportunity for? He does not use the opportunity for himself. It is a huge privilege, and I believe he could have asked for anything. And as you read the, past, as you read the verses, you'll see that Abraham also does not forget his place. He knows there's the God who doesn't mince words, and that's the way it should be, even in times of privilege. So, Bishop, I'm thankful that, yes, you'll talk to us when we err, you'll also talk to us when we don't err. It is that constancy of voice that seems sometimes missing in the discussion of moral clarity in our country. We need more of that. But following... But following, as I said, Abraham does not use the privilege for himself. Actually, he uses that privilege to speak on behalf of others. That is what power should be, to return power to the powerless. He used that power of his physical presence with God to speak for people who did not even know that God was about to destroy them because they've done something wrong. May we use our privilege in the service of others, not because they are able to thank us, but because it is right so to do. Thank you very much. 